I'm Ivan and this is my home allotment veggie beds. Right, I've got them sunflowers in there, the giant greys. I need to pot them on. But I'll show you them in a minute, yeah? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, well, probably about three, if I can get three in there. I'm hoping to get three in there. Uh, and I don't know what else I'm going to do with the other one. But I'll find a space for it somewhere. But as you can see, the French climbing beans are doing quite well now as well. They're going quite good. And the runner beans are doing quite well. I have had quite a lot of black fly on them, but I have been spraying them with uh, soapy water. I've just looked, they seem quite clean this morning, so they're not too bad. And this is the stuff that I planted out last weekend, I think it was. As I said, two cabbage, row of French marigolds, two winter radish red meat, all marigolds, some beetroot and another row of French marigolds. The potatoes are starting to come up quite well as well actually. They're doing quite well. But I think I'm going to need to start to pick some of these peas actually. As you can see, there is some peas on there, not very many. Not very many, but a few. The onions and shallots and spring onions are doing quite well. They're getting quite a nice sized bowl actually. As you can see, if I can find one. Not bad. Got some good sized ones in there actually. And the uh, broad beans, they're doing quite well now as well, as you can see. There is broad beans on there, not ready to be picked yet, but there is some on there. So, there's a few more, they're quite nice ones. They're doing quite good. So, right, I'll show you inside the... Uh, Holly tunnel and then we go from there. Right, as you can see, this is my tomato that I've put in. I'll put some marigolds all the way around that one. And I'll put some marigolds around the edge of these ones as well. So obviously that's given me a bit of space. So what I've done, I've moved the uh, cayenne peppers down this end and I don't know whether you'll pick it up or not but there is actually little peppers on there come on focus no nope, it's not gonna focus but there is a little pepper there so they're doing okay and these are my sweet peppers There is, this is the bark ash pepper, so that's bushing up really well. But all the other peppers are sort of like bushing out quite well now. These sweet bananas seem to be bushing up really well. So I don't know how well they're going to come out, but hopefully I'll get loads of sweet bananas. And the, uh, hmm, that might need some water actually, yellow pointed. Orange pointed, yellow, sweet. These um these are the two shop uh, sweet peppers. Well, I don't know what's going on with them. They seem to be wilting quite big, but they have got quite a lot of growth underneath. So I am tempted to just take these big leaves off because they're obviously dying off anyway. So I might do that. <coughs> Now these are my mini bell sweet but sweet peppers they're doing quite well they're quite nice and bushy 
that one in the middle is quite a lot bigger and there's the other little one and these are my giant grey striped sunflowers they need to go out actually because if you look on the top if it focuses it has actually started to flower now So I need to get these out. So I'm probably going to do that. I think I've got a place for them. I've got some um, metal spikes that I can I can spike them up with because they're obviously not going to get very big because they're the obviously the giant head ones. So I, they're not going to get much bigger now that they started flowering on the top. Still got that one tomato left. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might just give that away. These are my African marigolds. I need to get them out that they started flowering. They're well tall. Some more spring onions. And these are the cucumbers. These are doing quite well, actually. This one's uh, started clinging on by itself with its tendril, as you can see, but it's just starting to flower up now actually, not like this one. This one's got quite a few on it. This one is well ahead of the other one. So we'll see how we go with these. There's the other little cucumbers growing at the bottom there. And these are the uh, Autumn King carrots. They're doing okay, they're not too bad. Right, that's a polytunnel tour and what's going on in there. Right, these are my lupins. And obviously, I don't need all of these to go to seed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of these flower stems off. As you can see, I've got plenty there. So I'll just wait a little bit longer to get a seed head off of them so I can grow some for next year. So I'll get on and do that now. Right, that's what I've taken off so far, and as you can see, looks a bit better now. Maybe it'll give uh, my apple tree a chance to get established, but my apple tree has, or my apple is probably, it's got quite a lot of nice little apples on it. So, hopefully, I should get a nice crop of apples this year, because last year, they wasn't that good. But really, I need to clean some of this out away from it as well. But I'll wait for them to dry off and go to seed. Then I'll, I'll keep some of them purple ones and some of them pink ones around the other side. So it's a little bit clearer for the apple is now. There you go. A little, got a little bumblebee or bee doing its pollination thing. Oh, it's just gone inside that flower. It'll come out in a sec. If you give it a second, there you go. There he is, look, working his way up the plant. Oh, he's gone over to the white one now. But this is the white foxglove. That's obviously some sort of pinky purple. And this one is like a light colored one. So, yeah, bumblebees everywhere. Oh, there's another one, look. Like these things that I thought were irises are actually starting to flower now. So they're definitely not irises. So if you've got any clue what these are, let me know down in the comments because I don't know what they are. But like a little buttercup type flowers. So if you know, let me know. But they're all starting to bud up now. Some are even in flower like I just showed you. So, yeah, they're doing all right for freebie. I can't complain, you know. There you go. All four giant grey striped sunflowers out now. So, that's the end today. Thanks for watching, commenting and subbing. If you haven't subbed, there's a button down there. Click on the button and click on all. Alright, catch you on Wednesday. Bye.